you can see that even the dead were separated. <laughs> first, is British. Mm -hmm. okay. first one out there is you know, somebody because see being white head. I don't know how white the head was. A British called white head. He was a soldier. He died 1812, he was 38. Up to today, we don't know what killed our gentleman. The one here is for somebody called Captain George McLean. Names like McLean, McDonald's, McCarthy, they are Scottish names. The man came here in 1830 as a governor, and then a judicial assessor. It was this man who came to block that tunnel to stop the trade. Before McLean came, we were forcing Africans through that, and he blocked that to stop the trade. The same man started a court up there called McLean's home. Because after a slave trade for 400 years, I told the British colonized Ghana again for 100 years. So, colonial time, the capital of Ghana was in Cape Coast. Then moved to Accra in the year 1877. That was a court. McLean also made the local people to sign a bond called the Bond of 1844, <coughs> which paved way for colonization. He stayed in the building 17 years. Mosquitoes killed him. He died 1847, 1846, yeah. malaria. Yes, malaria. Kill the white devils then. <laughs> this was the wife of McLean called Leticia Elizabeth London. She was the only white woman who came around during the entire period of the trade. And within two months, she died. When McLean was yeah. coming here, McLean didn't come with the wife. So for like six or more years, McLean wasn't going to England again. The wife came from England to visit the husband. When she got there, two months, she died. There were a lot of rumors at that time. One school of thought said malaria killed Leticia within two months on arrival. The other one said because McLean stayed longer, McLean wasn't going to England again. McLean has gone in for an African woman called Miss Barnum of Macra. So when Leticia came to hear of that story, out of jealousy, she took some poison and died. And the last one said that the woman that McLean was going out with, this woman was a beautiful, fantastic, and complete Ghanaian woman by all standards. And that woman wanted to have McLean forever as the husband. So when Leticia came, the Ghanaian woman posed as a servant, then poisoned Leticia so that she would get McLean to marry. Yeah, I like the second story better. These are the tears. So up to now, I do not know what killed Leticia. But Leticia died. She died in 1837, 10 years before the husband died, age 36. So what did it kill Leticia? Spit on the white devil's grave. Oh. <laughs> and we spit on the white devil's grave. We spit on the white devil's grave. May you burn in hell. Die painfully and slowly. May all your descendants burn into ashes. And we spit on the white devil's grave. And we spit on the white devil's grave. Let them burn in hell and burn the ashes. No love.